my name is Pascal. Today we are going to go through where you might buy your power rack. If you want more on the topic then please follow the links in the description box below. I have written extensively on it and you will also find more playlists here on YouTube where I go into the details of this entire setup that you see behind me. If you are in the US, I think the three main options you should consider before hitting any purchase button are Rogue Fitness, Rep Fitness and Titan Fitness. These are the three big bidders for your money when it comes to home gyms and I will go through each independently. Of course I have a little bit of a bias for Rogue Fitness because that is what my home gym is composed of and I also sit in the EU myself so not everything is available to me but I have done extensive research on Rep Fitness and Titan Fitness myself. Out of these three vendors, Rogue Fitness would be the quality leader for home gym equipment. They originally came from the CrossFit community, but now are so heavily pushing into the powerlifting community and the Olympic weightlifting community. You will see more and more events spent, sponsored by Rogue Fitness, Rogue plates being used instead of Ivanko plates or maybe even Illico plates and equipment. Equipment. So Rogue is trying to take over the entire market domestically but also internationally. Now you will have to pay the biggest premium price if you so may speak for Rogue Fitness. Their equipment is actually quite a bit more expensive especially when you compare it to Titan Fitness. What you get in return is a more stable quality of the delivery of the customer service and also of the equipment itself. Now if you do extensive research on this what you will find with Titan Fitness is that it is more often that the delivery is faulty, that pieces are missing and also that you will need some DIY skills or more DIY skills than with Rogue Fitness to actually put them together. Now of course on the other hand you will also save a lot of money and I will get into that in a bit more detail. Now also if you do some research of Rogue Fitness you will get some pretty bad feedback especially during the COVID time. I would personally say that this is very much due to a very very high demand for their equipment without keeping up with the staffing and with the orders. So their Rogue fell victim to their own success. The book of orders filled quicker than they could actually keep up with and that resulted in very long waiting times and confusion in delivery. Now I personally had also ordered during the pandemic and I personally have to say how the European team handled it was absolutely excellent. I got the wrong parts delivered for my Rogue RM4 rack and I made a complaint, a nice complaint. I took a picture of everything, laid it all out and I said guys I think you delivered wrong part wrong. I need the long cross members and not the short ones for the RM3. Could you help me out here? Within 48 hours they came back to me and said absolutely correct Pascal and we'll deliver the correct parts free of charge and you can keep the ones that you currently already have. So in my opinion that was perfectly handled and an understandable mistake that can happen during times like the pandemic when everybody is squeezed. So that's my take on Rogue Fitness. Rep Fitness is another option that budget wise is in the middle between Titan and Rogue Fitness. They're not that far off from Rogue Fitness from my personal taste when I compare the prices. And basically Rep Fitness is asking the question of what, I, what if you could get a Rogue Rack but that is made in China for a lower price. That is basically the concept there. They are getting better at actually sourcing things inland in the United States, but it's still way more likely that the material or the labor will actually come from overseas compared to Rogue. The quality of the product seems to be also quite stable. 
The question that I would like to pose with rap fitness is if you're really not trying to save a considerable amount on your home gym, then why not go with the best and with Rogue Fitness? Again, as I outlined at the beginning of the video, I have a bit of a bias towards Rogue, but still, you know, I felt like when I put the same gyms and the same kind of configurations into my shopping cart and rep fitness, then it didn't make that much of a difference. It still made a difference, but not that much. And another thing to say with rep fitness is also that I personally find that the configurator to get your rack together is a bit clumsy and complicated. So for people who already have ordered a rack before, it's perfect because you can, you know, pick everything you like and really, really customize everything. But a person who already bought a rack before also knows exactly what they're doing. They can kind of make a vision of in their heads of, okay, this part goes there, this part goes there. And, you know, for them, it's easy to actually pick the right cross members in the right colors. If you haven't done that before, I think the configurator on rep fitness is a bit confusing and might lead you to order something that you didn't necessarily want the way you want it. But that's just my personal opinion after trying it out for an afternoon and also comparing different configurations to make this video. Last one on the list is Titan Fitness and I think the fitness community, at least from what I'm seeing, has a bit of a love-hate relationship with Titan Fitness. So yeah, there's one camp that really loves Titan Fitness because you get a lot of stuff for very little money. So basically twice as much stuff for the same amount of money as you would get with Rogue. But on the other hand, of course, there have to be cut some corners to offer this kind of equipment at that lower price to you. And usually where vendors cut corners is in the quality of the equipment or the stability of the quality of the equipment, staff and also shipping costs. So their Titan Fitness has a bit more fluctuation and it seems that there's more reports on the internet about broken equipment or fittings that are not right, weldings that are not absolutely up to spec. So Titan Fitness for me is great when you are a DIY nut and you like to fix things yourself, especially minor problems, because then you can really save a lot of money, use the tools that you already have in your shed or your garage, and then just smoothen out the few quality issues that your delivery might have. Of course, you roll the dice and everything might also come just as described on the prospect. Great, thank you Titan Fitness, but that see, there seems to be a higher risk of that happening with uh, Titan Fitness, that it's not as described on a bit below par compared to Rogue and Rap Fitness based on what I've seen. However, there is one thing uh, to be said for Titan Fitness. They just recently got a new CEO and he seems to be leading a new quality initiative with Titan Fitness to catch up to Rogue. So it will be very interesting to see what happens with that. And also another thing that I personally find about Titan Fitness that is great is if you wanted to build the ultimate bodybuilding gym in your basement or garage or wherever you have the space for it to get as many machines as you can possibly think of, then actually Titan Fitness is a way better address than Rep Fitness and Rogue Fitness because they have all of these machines that you will find in a commercial gym for a relatively low price adapted to the needs of a home gym. It will still all be a bit higgledy-piggledy as you might say but it will work and especially you can get a lot of stuff plate loaded which saves you a lot of money because you're not buying a weight stack with each machine. As you are the only person training in the gym, in your own home gym, then you don't need multiple weight stacks, only a stack of plates. So there, you know, the savings really compound and add up. So Titan Fitness, if you want to build the biggest possible gym out of the lowest amount of money with decent quality, then go down the Titan Fitness route.
Finally, a few words on Europe. So in Europe, the fitness landscape is a bit more distributed because each and every country seems to have a brand that established themselves locally or two or three bands that are competing with each other. So if you are comparing Rogue Fitness with one of these local brands of yours, then the only thing that I would recommend to you is to see whether you can buy directly from them. Because if you can buy directly from the company that you're researching, it is way more likely that you will have less problems with customer services and exchanges of the products that you buy. If you can only go via a distributor to buy the equipment that you want. So basically you're not buying the brand you want from themselves, but they send you to let's say Tesco, to Walmart, or to some kind of other local fitness distributor to buy the equipment, then I would say buyer beware. Because in that triangle between vendor, distributor, and you, it is not always clear who is responsible for what. And that can lead to problems when you actually have to hand something back, or you're saying that is actually faulty, because then it is way more easy to point fingers in a circle, and you are the one who has a lot of waiting time, doesn't get a refund or actually the equipment that you wanted because you got a wrong delivery. So for European buyers, if you're not buying from Rogue locally, then just really pay attention whether you can buy directly from a brand or not. And if you can't, I might step away and go with the other local brand where you can actually place an order right on their website. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and tell your friends about my channel. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment box below. Have a nice day and I hope to see you soon. Bye bye.